Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Loot Grade in the month of December 2018. This month's theme is Scavage. Things hinted towards this time around are Transformers Bumblebee, Dungeons and Dragons, Escape from New York, and Fallout. Also, before I get to the uh, opening of the box itself, the box is heavily perforated, and looking at the themes, I'm willing to bet that's a, a Vault Tech a vault door, and it is also one of the honestly widest boxes, and while well, being short, that I've seen from Loot Crate ever. Like, this is the size of a card game box. Oh, no, it's Bumblebee. So, it looks like it's to make Bumblebee. So, first off, we've got a shirt, it is. D&D, I think? Pretty heavy, too. Yep, Dungeons & Dragons. And it is a mini sprue of a, I'm guessing, dwarf warrior. It's even got a D20. Right, it does have the Dungeons & Dragons logo on it. Things like a ride of a wolf, campfire. It's like all the equipment and everything. And even two things that make up a mimic. Haha! <laughs> uh, why do you always carry weapons into the tavern. In case of mimics, the adventurers laugh, the bartender laugh, the table laugh. They took the table. Next up, we have Fallout Fortune Finder perk. I'm guessing it's a statue. Yeah, there we go. Representing the perk itself, because usually the perks have unique images with them. Oh, yep, it's exactly that. And it is not a complex statue either. As other than the base, he's just one thing. One piece. And then the base... ...is one other piece! It's actually a very nicely done base. And he just has one little spot to insert. Although it doesn't want to go in all that well. Yeah, he does not stay in all that well, but I imagine on a tabletop he'll stay just fine. Like, I was letting go of it there to show how easily it falls and had to turn it like that just to make it do so. So standing upright it would do just fine. And that is a Loot Crate exclusive, I think? It has Loot Crate all over the box for it. Then we have a pin set, is my guess. It's a boom box. And it's definitely Bumblebee, and you can see pin holders, so let's take a closer look at that. It does open to the cardboard. What, did they put Soundwave in the movie? Mm. I have not seen any of the Transformers movies since the second one. And while Bumblebee's been a little tempting, because I've heard better things about it, it's been a little hard. Not that I don't want to see them, I just don't want to pay to see them. Like, I don't want to see them in theaters. Uh, and it is three stylized... Pins. One of the newer version of Bumblebee is yellow VW Bug and a version of the Autobots symbol with like some. Oh, they're fire trails. So it's just like, what the hell is that? Uh, then we've got what looks to be a single poster. Yep, just a single one of Escape from New York. I wouldn't even be surprised if this is the original poster with the snake food skin on it. Then we have a $5 off thing for Adam Tickets, showing a lot of what's come out recently. Bumblebee into the Spider-Verse, Holmes, Aquaman. Aquaman was, well, you can see my video for a review. I enjoyed it, to be fair. Uh, and Holmes, I don't want to talk about the 20-foot soul, even though I'm normally a fan of Sherlock Holmes movies. The trailers just rub me wrong. And it looks like we're missing an item. It's because they have a postcard with another apology. And it even says, Punskin is missing. We'll find out what that item is in a second. As again, they've gone back to the booklets, which I've preferred over the postcards. I also kind of preferred over the posters, but some of the posters are nice. 
Also, before I get to that, I've got the pin. It is lost in space. I think that's their helmet. Uh, da, 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 da. It actually says mysterious robot, so it might be the robot's head. Alignment awesome. That, that's what they labeled the shirt. Oh, that's great. Nope. Not the bees! Did the bumblebee stuff this? That's great. All of these now come with descriptions, which is one of the reasons I preferred it more. Okay, so the missing item uh, is an eye patch. Call me Snake. And then some advertisement stuff. Loot Play Digital Games is one of the things. Starting at starting at five dollars a month, or sorry, ten dollars a month. Five in games delivered to your inbox. I'll have to take a look at that, but I probably won't get it because it sounds just like the humble monthly bundle. Uh, advertisement for the Wizarding World, and then some. Hey, here's what happened at TwitchCon 2018. The Mega Crate, which has a lot of interesting stuff in it. And then some loot vault in. The thing that I really missed this for were the community images. It's just like, hey, people try to really make your stuff, or go, or really show that they appreciate your stuff. And also, we got another dinner time thing. Again, I have no idea if these work at all because of how long it takes to ship. And the bottom of the box here is actually really cool. I'm kind of sad that it comes with a perforated box, but it's got a flying kick version of Bumblebee, so imagine that at this size, with the entire Cybertron alphabet. And yeah, Cybertron Cypher is what it's actually labeled as. Use the alphabet below to decipher her the clues and help Bumblebee protect Earth. Wee! <laughs> they even had to put a DW Volkswagen label in here because it's modeled directly after the car. All right, that appears to be everything in this crate. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, please share this video. Either way, you'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, be it you want to hear my opinion on why I don't want to watch the Transformers movies, or what I think about anything else in this crate, other crates, or other nerdums in general, or you just want to make conversation. And if you want to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overview videos, or my painting videos, and anything else that I do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.